Hello and welcome to BBC School Report. I am Alice and I am Daisy. We will be talking about Bulliswood for Girls budget cuts and we will also have a short chat about Bulliswood for Boys budget cuts. Hello Ms Petty, what do you think the impact of budget cuts has on our school? The impact of budget cuts is very significant, particularly since we have new exams. We need to have new resources so that we can have books available, new kinds of software available so that our pupils um, can really take advantage of everything we have and get the best marks and best grades. Hello, do you think Villas Wood for Girls has enough supplies in the language department? Well, I think the cuts have affected uh, generally more schools in the country. And in our department, for example, we have seen that we used to have Italian as main curriculum and now it's been cut down and we only offer it from year 9 and it's going to be reduced so in the end it's going to disappear. And as well we used to have a modern foreign language assistant for all the languages for the six formers to practice conversation. We don't have that provision anymore and it's up to us individual teachers to have those lessons which are included in our timetables. And finally probably textbooks, we don't have so many anymore. We rely a lot on electronic books for students to use. Okay, thank you. Hello, and what do you think about the impact of budget cuts in the Bullers with Language Department? Hello. We've been quite lucky. We haven't had to change the way that we do things in any dramatic way because of budget cuts. However, there are some areas where we have had to be careful to prioritise our money and perhaps be a little bit more careful about that than we used to have to be. One area where we do feel the pinch is in the area of Key Stage 4, where we have new exams with all of our students in all of our languages. It would be lovely to be able to buy a brand new textbook for everything as a student in Year 10, Year 11, but that would simply be beyond our budget. So we work with sets of textbooks in the classroom, which students use in the classroom, and then they access the textbook online. Budget cuts impact the library. Budget cuts have a significant effect on our library because we need to constantly restock with up-to-date books, titles, different genres, to ensure that all the students have a good selection of reading, which also helps with their education. Thanks for your time. Hello, Ms. Wilder. What do you think about the impact of budget cuts on for girls? I think it's had a big impact on our um, supply of textbooks for our uh, specific subjects. For example, with the new aid of maths, um, um, new specifications, new um, structure in the in textbooks, they're very expensive to buy. We've had to think very carefully how we go about and where we go about buying those. Um, also, I think photocopying has been a bit of an issue for me. Um, I spent an awful lot of time trying to um, cut and paste and get lots of bits onto one small page, one page, so I don't knock on the wasting paper. And it's very time consuming, but you know, every little helps, I suppose. And um, do you also think that this might impact the future for boys? Well, the part of the thinking behind um, Bullerswood School for Boys is because, because as an individual school it will face the same challenges that we face as an individual school that I've just described. Um, but there's an opportunity there uh, because if we can be efficient across both schools and uh, develop what we call shared services then it might then be that actually we can secure some savings. Um, so that's something that we've got to look at very carefully. Um, so, so it might be for example if in the girls school we need to buy 1,600 exercise books, one for every student. Um, and, and, and it might be that we pay a pound a book. At the boys' school, we've got 900 boys, ultimately, and we need to buy 900 exercise books. And if we were buying them separately, that's going to be a pound a book. It might be that we find that if we order 2,500, which is 1,600 plus 900, then actually that turns out at 90 pence a book because there's a discount for buying in scale. And therefore, you've saved... 10 pence a book. So that's the sort of thing that we need to look at with the boys' school to see if we can actually save some money, um, which makes some of those other budgetary challenges a little easier. I think that makes sense.
Thank you for your time. Do you think Williamsburg for Girls has enough supplies? Um, in some areas, yes, but in others, no. Like the drama studio, for example, there is there is no equipment for us as year sevens to use, and the equipment that we can use is very limited, and it's not very in very good condition. For the drama studio, for example, it's not. It might just be not a widely accessed thing. Like it might not be too popular. There's quite a restricted amount of equipment for drama. For example, the chairs, quite a few of them are very unstable, so that you could, if you sit on it, it will like continuously move side to side. And that, for me, is a problem at the moment because I'm having issues with my knee. But also the desks, they're quite hideous, if I'm honest, because the paint's all scraped off, people have engraved writing onto the desks, and it just doesn't really... It doesn't really rep represent Bullers as well as it could.